Have you ever wondered why the book of Ezekiel is filled with such mystifying visions and prophecies? Well, you're not alone. The book of Ezekiel, nestled in the heart of the Old Testament, has intrigued scholars and lay readers alike for centuries. Penned by the prophet Ezekiel himself while in Babylonian exile, this book serves as a spiritual lighthouse amidst the stormy seas of Israel's rebellion. It's a unique blend of prophecy, visions, and allegories that have sparked countless debates and interpretations. Ezekiel's narrative is divided into three major sections, each with its own distinctive flavor. We'll journey through these sections in the upcoming scenes, exploring the depths of Ezekiel's visions, his stark warnings to the people of Israel, and the profound prophecies that have echoed through time. Dive with me into the enigmatic world of Ezekiel and uncover the profound messages hidden in its verses. Stay tuned, for the tale of Ezekiel is a tale worth telling. Our journey begins with Ezekiel's startling visions and ominous warnings. The first part of the book of Ezekiel takes us on a mystical journey where Ezekiel the prophet receives divine revelations from God. These aren't your everyday dreams. They are vivid, surreal, and filled with profound symbolism. One of Ezekiel's key visions involves four living creatures, each with four faces and four wings. These creatures represent the four attributes of God, man for intelligence, lion for strength, ox for servitude, and eagle for sovereignty. Then there's the wheel within a wheel, a complex vision symbolizing God's omnipresence and omniscience. And who can forget the valley of dry bones? This haunting vision represents the spiritual death and resurrection of Israel. These visions aren't meant to confuse or scare, but to deliver a wake-up call. They serve as warnings to the people of Israel, urging them to turn away from their sinful ways. Ezekiel's visions were not mere hallucinations but divine revelations meant to awaken the people of Israel. From visions and warnings, we now move to prophecies and their fulfillment. In the second part of the book of Ezekiel, the prophet unveils foretellings of both devastation and revival. His words predict the fall of Jerusalem, a city once flourishing, soon to be swallowed by its own transgressions. Yet there's a beacon of hope in Ezekiel's prophecies. He also foresees the restoration of Israel, a nation rising from the ashes, reborn in its divine glory. Historical records bear witness to these prophecies taking form. Jerusalem indeed fell under Babylonian siege, validating Ezekiel's grim prediction. However, years later a rejuvenated Israel emerged, just as Ezekiel had prophesied, marking the dawn of an era of spiritual renewal. These events were not coincidences but the unfolding of Ezekiel's prophetic words, demonstrating the authenticity of his divine ministry. As we see, Ezekiel's prophecies were not empty words, but accurate predictions that came to pass, proving the infallibility of God's word. Now let's distill the essence of the book of Ezekiel. In its core, Ezekiel is a book of visions, warnings, and prophecies. Its uniqueness lies in its vivid imagery and profound symbolism, making it a captivating read. It's a testament to the prophetic nature of the Bible, showcasing the power of divine foresight. And with its timeless wisdom, it continues to echo relevance for contemporary readers, offering insights and moral guidance. Remember, the book of Ezekiel is not just an ancient text but a timeless treasure that speaks to us even today.